Welcome back. We're talking to Sandy Rio. Um, Sandy, um, to continue on with their topic, um, what about women um, who have chronic illnesses or, or barriers, something genetic that they can't change? How do you get over that? So I think um, it's a misconception that you can't change because everyone can. We grow and change all the time from really? our cellular levels to our behaviors. But I think it's important that you've mentioned chronic mm -hmm. illness, right? And chronic illness, if I could throw that out to the group, I'm curious to know what your perceptions or your thoughts are around chronic illness. Mm -hmm. I think it's something created by the mind. If you're if you're constantly just looking at your circumstances and bouncing your thoughts off of that, mm -hmm. you're chron it's going to become chronic. Mm -hmm. It's going to be something you experience mm -hmm. every day, and you're going to think it's a part of you that you can't change, which I feel like is a flawed premise because, you, like you said, you can change anything from your cellular mm -hmm. level. Yeah, mm -hmm. like for example, yeah. diabetes, right? Like my family has diabetes, and, and because my mom has it, I'm more prone to it. Not that I'm thinking about it every day, but... I know that I have to do something about it mm -hmm. to make sure that I don't get it. Mm -hmm. So just in the sense that it's in the family. Well, absolutely. So the difference between acute illness mm -hmm. is something that happens that has a quick onset. It starts and then it stops and then you can be cured of it. Mm -hmm. Once you have a chronic illness, something like diabetes mm -hmm. or heart disease or something like that, once you get it, you're with it for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. And so therein lies a really important point is that it's not something that you can get rid of. So if you're at risk for it, isn't it better to maybe just not have it start? Mm -hmm. right? Yes. So and be so proactive. Yeah. To be proactive. <laughs> There's We're a theme it. today. Yeah. Exactly. Right. You guys have clued in really quickly. Yeah. Okay. And so it's important to understand, okay, what are the risk factors for chronic illness or chronic disease and be able to manage and actually optimize your health in, in advance of potentially mm -hmm. getting it. Mm -hmm. And certain cultures and certain ethnicities are more predisposed or more likely to get right. certain Especially chronic disease. Exactly. Like so the do Dr. Shafi said, we're doomed. Right. So, <laughs> so we have to do well, something. All the advice yeah. that we can get. All so that's <laughs> very, very extreme. Now yeah. we need something positive yeah. to kind of really but get us uplifted. Positivity, like right now in our culture, it's that positivity craze, mm -hmm. which is great, but I feel like some people take it to the other extreme where they just pretend to be happy all the time, mm -hmm. and you can see the grief inside, yeah. and they just won't allow themselves.